Thanks, David. No need to change your voice. I was just debating if the graveyard shift is actually the one after lunch or is the last one to close out. And I think we, Thank you. we had a tour de force for many topics and it feels like almost everything has been said, but not by everybody. So you might hear repetitive things. We try to dive into a number of various topics probably covered throughout the days and give a little bit of an LP perspective to these topics. I will avoid making introductions. If you have not met these three gentlemen, you didn't make proper use of the conference. Yeah, I think they should <laughs> yeah. be known by now. So from that perspective, let's, let's try to dive right in and we will try to leave some room for questions in the end as well. Funnily enough, we prepared a little bit and uh, thought about, there's a lot of talk about credit and debt overall and the big question is hopefully, what role, we, we spoke about the different elements of that, the different regions, the different sectors, where should it sit? But the question is, what role should or does that play within your portfolio? Luke. Yeah, should I kick off? Well, I'll um, describe this in, in the way that we use and deployed real estate credit within the, the portfolio that I ran from 2019. Um, so from 2019, um, I ran the real estate team at the Defiant Benefit Pension Scheme of Tesco, uh, the UK food retailer, um, and then co-ran the, the wider private markets business. Um, and if we just focus on the, on the real estate portfolio within that private markets business, our investment mandate allowed us to invest in what we call a, what I call the four quadrants of, of real estate. So um, we invested in direct equity, um, owning our own buildings. Um, we invested in equity funds, JVs. Um, we invested in listed real estate securities uh, and real estate credit. Um, and in terms of the use of, of real estate credit, you know, break it into two component parts. We would have a strategic use of, of real estate credit. Um, and to give you an example of, of an investment that would sit within that, um, we had investment grade senior uh, real estate credit lending. And that, why would we do that? That provided us some key characteristics which we were looking for. Um, resilient income streams which mm. we used to pay the monthly paychecks of those members of the pension scheme who had actually reached retirement age. Um, but also it delivered enhanced returns and yield compared with public debt. Um, but as well as the strategic position in the portfolio, we also took, used it to deliver tactical positions. Mm. So um, we used it to, 